But first, Western Mass News is getting answers as Bay State Health reports its highest COVID-19 hospitalization rate. Thanks for joining us, everyone at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. How is this influx of patients being handled? And will field hospitals come into play soon? Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis joins us now live in studio after getting answers from local health officials. Leon? Jordan, Chris, 249 COVID patients are currently in Bay State hospitals, 202 of them here at Bay State Medical Center. We're getting answers tonight about how this surge in patients is being handled. The majority of them are unvaccinated and also most people are younger. Going over 200 is something that's never happened before. And as you say, today we're up at 249 and things are still rising pretty sharply. Bay State President and CEO Dr. Mark Harawak tells Western Mass News COVID-19 hospitalizations at Bay State Health are at an all-time high. We asked him where all these patients are being treated. Yeah, I mean, there are a number of units that are focused on the care of COVID patients. Uh, some of them are intensive care units. Some of them are intermediate care units where it's three patients per nurse. And then uh, there are a half a dozen or so specialized units that have most of the COVID patients. What's your mass news? Digging deeper. We wanted to know whether field hospitals or even tents to extend capacity could be considered to address the surge in patients. The issue with COVID patients is that they really are quite sick, many of them, and some of them need all the resources of a modern hospital. So caring for them in a tent-like setting is probably not the best. But Bay State Health is getting the word out. Anyone wanting to make appointments for non-COVID routine care like wellness visits, mammograms, or colonoscopies should submit a request, but appointments won't be scheduled until after February 14th. As for the current COVID patients, we wanted to know how many of them are unvaccinated. Roughly 70% are unvaccinated. That means about 174 patients with COVID-19 do not have a COVID-19 vaccine, as compared to 75 patients who are fully vaccinated. But Kerouac says most of their 174 patients are younger people. The uh, unvaccinated crowd, unfortunately, tends to be younger uh, because more older people have gotten the vaccine than younger people. And they tend to have some of these complicating conditions like diabetes and obesity. Western Mass News getting answers. We got word that non-COVID patients have gone to the ER and waited in the hallway on a stretcher for a room. Dr. Kerouac says it's unfortunately true. There are people who are waiting on stretchers in the emergency room for a room to open up. And uh, obviously the way to fix that is to get somebody discharged so there's an available bed for them. And the latest Data from the city of Springfield of their 2,300 cases of 1,000 of them were 21 to 40 years old. Live in studio, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News.